taking a walk it's and there's gone. a shark on the beach. It's absolutely disgusting. It so smells horrible just to fill you guys in. If we had smell-o-vision, like... <laughs> It smells horrible. You guys would be like, oh my god, it smells real bad. Look at the teeth. Oh, we can take a tooth. Can we take a tooth or well, is that could illegal? Take a tooth. Alrighty, Savina. Are you ready to go on another trip? Are you ready to go, baby? Savannah is super, super ready. She's just a little tired. Like, she's up how many hours earlier than usual? Like five. So she's really tired. And Piggy's whining that she's not on camera. She's on lockdown because for some reason she's refusing to eat today. No. Ever since I was a little girl, we would and I like my bagels well done. Don't be freaked out by this. Alright. Are we vlogging? We sure are. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> what are we vlogging about? I'm Toast. vlogging about my it's a bagel. Oh. So ever since I was a little girl, like if we would go on trips, my mom would make bagels. And people are gonna think that this is really gross. But you put Velveeta cheese on the bagel and some salami. Mm -hmm. I promise you, it is so, so good. It's so good. So we've always had this ever since we were little kids. And I decided to make one for this trip. Normally, I don't eat bagels whenever we go on vacation together. Mike and I, we kind of just like stop and get Chick-fil-A and stuff. But we're going pretty early today. So I figured I'd have a really nice, yummy breakfast and have my yummy, yummy bagels. Mike's not about that life, though. Bagels. He's not about the salami and breakfast. cheese. And yeah, he also doesn't eat breakfast. What a freak. I, I hate people that are like that. The amount of friends that I have had and do have that say, I hate breakfast. Like, what? I want to eat at all hours of the day. I am starving as soon as I get up. I freaking think that it is the weirdest thing when people are like, I hate eating in the morning. Who's hungry whenever you wake up? Who crazy. says that? Who says that? Freaks. Hey, All of my friends. Where's I don't know that? why they're my friends because that's a little crazy. Where's my mega charger at for the iPhone? I don't know. See, Mike doesn't like breakfast because he's not hungry in the morning. Well, hmm. I got my goodie bag. I got my bagel. I got my bag of fruit snacks. I got my Funyuns. These are incredible. Flamin' Hot. I don't like regular Funyuns, but anything Flamin' Hot, I love. So I have my goodie bag ready to go so I can snack before we go to lunch, which may be Subway or McDonald's. You ready, Piggy? She's seen her daddy. Where is he going? This is Piglet's favorite spot, her center console. She like really loved this setup last time, so I figured I'd bring this pillow again. She just loves looking out the window, being up here with us. She absolutely cannot be back there. It's too far away from us, so this is her spot. Savannah's got her bed. And then I have like a diaper bag back there with toys and bones and all sorts of goodies. So whenever we get like an hour on the road, I'll probably give them their bones. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. I'm really excited because it's 20 degrees here yeah, and it's, it's like 60 to 70 degrees there. Freezing here. It's gonna be real nice. We made a pit stop at McDonald's. Uh, pig, geez, the whole nugget. Oh, let's see, Sim is a champ. Look at her chew. <laughs> Super slow. She's choke. Oh, she said you're not taking it. She's gonna go back there and chomp it up like a, I don't even know what. 
It's so, so fascinating how this little one doesn't eat her breakfast, but she gets chicken nuggets. This sim is like an she just swallows it whole. Entire She's chicken. Patrick. Just, yeah. I told you guys we'd be stopping at McDonald's. Oh, always gotta stop at McDonald's. <laughs> uh doing good though. The truck, we've only burned half a tank, a little bit more than half a tank, and we've gone what? Well, about 250 miles. We have about two hours, maybe a little less yeah, than two hours to go. About two hours to go. Anyway, back on the road. We made it! We made, we it. made it! And we're going to Bros. We made it like we're just in time. Starving. I'm Not so just in time. Hungry. We have like two hours left, but we're starving. We're gonna go eat. Most I've ever been in my life. So on this he morning. hasn't eaten at all yet. I've eaten I'm a bagel. Starving. I've eaten my funyuns. I've eaten my. I've eaten in like McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts. I, <laughs> well, since last night, I, la I ate at like four o'clock in the morning. So he's starving. I'm starving. Sixteen hours. So we're gonna go eat our favorite place in the whole entire world. Bros. Eat at our favorite place in the whole entire world. Bros. So good. So that's what we're gonna go do. All right. So our first day was very successful. By the way, you should always carry your dogs down the stairs, especially if you have like bulldogs or something, Frenchies especially. So you can prevent a lot of joint damage in the future. Um, Today was so good. It was our first day here. We had a really, really good day. It was so nice out, really, really, really hot. Um, so Savannah's actually upstairs taking a nap with her dad. Mike's editing a video for tonight, but Savannah's taking a nap because she ran around a lot and she was panting a lot and it was a little too hot for her. Piglet does better with the heat. So her and I are gonna go for a little walk. The sun's gonna set in like an hour or two, so we're just gonna enjoy a nice little walk while he edits a little bit and Savannah gets in a little nap. Piggy's just running around right now, but I just wanted to catch you guys up that today was great and we didn't film it. We kind of just like enjoyed ourselves and didn't worry about pulling out the camera or anything. We just lived in the moment. Um, and we also had bros again, obviously. We just had that, I'm stuffed. So I'm hoping that this walk makes me like a little hungry because I really want to eat chocolate peanut butter ice cream because it's my fave and I have a little bit of a sweet tooth going on since I had so much salty stuff for lunch. But yeah, we're gonna go for a walk, so see you guys on the beach. morning guys it's getting to the point of the vacation where I don't even know what day it is I think it's day number three we have piggy out here on this fine gorgeous morning just tanning away she is loving it she's absolutely loving it it is so gorgeous it's so freaking nice out it feels like summertime I'm so in love with it here so I've just been living the life all week. I've been getting some work done on Frenchie's Bakery, editing some videos. I've been reading Marley and Me. I probably haven't read this since like maybe middle school. I don't know, but it is such a good book. I absolutely love the detail that it goes into compared to the movie. Obviously, that's like always how books go. A lot more detail than the movie and it's just, Oh, it's such a good book. I've already cried about the miscarriage, but uh, I'm probably gonna skip the ending because I have no interest in like really crying about that girl out there. <laughs> but other than that, it's an incredible book. So we've just been getting some work done, reading, and I've had this door open all week because it just, it's so nice out. It's the perfect temperature to have it open and I love hearing the waves. So that's just what we've been up to. All right, we're gonna get some epic content today. Did a fan send you that? I think so. 
I think a fan sent Mike this little harness thing and it makes Piglet look so cool. Like she's a freaking agent or something, like a spy. She's a secret agent, first of all. It is so cool. God, she is so cute. She's such a trooper. <laughs> Samantha, now you gotta run around so you can make the video very interesting. Get to running, girl. She's like, yeah, right. <laughs> All right. GoPro footage now. Taking a walk, and Let's there's go. a shark on the beach. Yeah, don't forget the family vlog, too. It's absolutely disgusting. It so smells horrible, just to fill you guys in. Like a, uh, <laughs> like a great white. You know, that's pretty terrifying that we swim in this ocean in the summertime, and this is just sandbar shark around maybe? us. Look at the teeth. Yeah, <gasps> we can take a tooth. Can we take a tooth, or well, is we that could illegal? Take a tooth. If we had smell a vision, like. <laughs> <laughs> It smells horrible. You guys would be like, oh my god, it smells real bad. When I was younger and I would come to the beach with my family, my mom and grandma would go for runs early, early, early in the morning when the sun was rising. And they would always come back with stories where they'd see like beached whales and beached sharks and dolphins and turtles. And I was always so jealous because I wanted to see one in real life. And it, they just sounded like the coolest stories and I was never able to get up, on, get up in time because I was so little. But... I've always wanted to come across something like this. I mean, it's sad that the shark died, but this is so incredible. Like, we came here last year in January and we were up in Corolla, which is like almost two hours from where we are. And we did see a sea turtle on the beach. He was dead too though, because in the winter time, there's a lot of shrimp boats and then they get caught in the net and they drown. So we did get to see that. So this is the second thing that I've gotten to see on the beach. It's just so crazy. There's always something different. That's why we want to move here because there's always, you know, something different. Whenever you go for a walk with the dogs, you're always going to see something crazy. So, but yeah, we are, I guess this is the time that I can say this. Mike did explain it on his channel. Um, we are thinking of moving here. That's the whole reason why we're down here right now, looking at houses, exploring, figuring things out. We were thinking about coming down next January, staying for a whole entire month and seeing what it's like. We might be moving down here. I really, it's kind of, it's totally, totally up in the air. Um, but we definitely were always here. Everyone's saying, why don't you just move there already? But you know, it's kind of up in the air, but that's, that's what we've been talking about a lot lately. We've been looking at houses, figuring things out. So we'll see. I feel like Every single time I'm recording, I'm talking about bros, and you guys are probably really annoyed. But we are about to chow the frick down on some bros. Well, we went to the gym, so we earned it. Yeah, we are starving. We're about to go in on bros. Seriously, Chili. in on bros. Cheese fries. We got chili cheese fries, wings, chili cheese fries, Cali Club, Cali Club, ranch, that. homemade ranch. We have been working all day. We've been doing crazy things. Mm -hmm. So we're starving, we're going in. Well, very sad here, very unfortunate. And the reason why is because, well, I mean, it's, it's a cool reason to go home. The C8's coming today, but of course, like GM waits. My car has been done being built for over a month and they wait until the week that I decide to go. And we're trying to look at houses and do all this, you know, stuff that involves our family. Of course, that's when they decide to ship them out. So, so we have to leave early. So we're leaving early. Yeah. But it's not that hard because it's raining. So it's like, okay. Yeah. We're leaving like three days early and it's really sad. It we is. We were going to uh, do so miserable. much cool stuff for you guys. Like we were going to go to the aquarium again. We were going to go look at the wild horses at Corolla. Mm-hmm. 
we'll you do can, it next time. You can tell she's really excited to be going around. I hate home. No, um, I don't hate it. It's just we we really do like it down here, which is why we're you know in the process of moving down here uh, for at least some of uh, the time. So you know it is a bummer for sure. It is a bummer, but we'll be back. All right. So we are just now leaving the beach house. I want to show you guys this picture real quick. So last night is when we found out that we were having to leave early and the girls were laying in their bed together and they both gave us the side eye. Like they truly understood big side eye. that we were leaving. They are just two big children. Sorry, we just reached cruising altitude in the Duramax. <laughs> I love that noise. So we're heading out and our trip is over, but it was really fun even short though it was trip. short. It was, it was still really, really fun. We had a good time, and we got some we got some good work done. We got some good information, so progress. Love you, babe. It was fun. Love you too. It's always sorry. fun going on trips with you. I'm sorry that we're. Uh, I mean, I don't want to go, I'm, so I'm sorry that we had to cut it short. But oh well. We'll come back. So we'll see you guys in the next vlog, which I'm pretty sure is the way I'm planning it is to put this one up first, and then. Uh -huh one after it and it's gonna be a really freaking funny video see you guys later